I'd like to have one of our North Star students come up. I had the opportunity to meet Sophia Ballinger, and let me tell you, she has a million dollar smile, and she's a tiny tot, but she packs so much talent. Sophia, come on down. Hello. Hello. <laughs> My name is Sophia Ballinger, and I'm in ninth grade. I'm a competitive gymnast, and I also like to draw, paint, and play the piano. I started playing the piano when I was just four years old. At first, my mom taught me, but then I got too advanced for her, so she had to get me another teacher. <laughs> Until I was 12, I loved it nonstop, but then I went through a phase where I just wanted to quit. My mom persisted that I keep at it, and now I love it again. This year, I am learning how to write my own songs, and eventually, I want to be able to play other people's music as well as write my own. I've always been interested in my art. My skills in drawing and painting have just grown ever since I was little. I always find myself learning new tricks to coloring, drawing, painting, etc. I don't know what I'll end up doing with my art, but I just know I love doing it. When I was 10, my mom signed me up for a recreational gymnastics class over the summer because she was having health problems and I just had too much energy for her to handle. <laughs> I fell in love with the sport right away, and even today, I don't really know why I like it so much, because it's hard, it hurts, and it's scary, but maybe it's that feeling of satisfaction you get when you finally do make a skill. My goals in gymnastics is to make the regional team next year and eventually to get a college scholarship. Also, when I stop competing in gymnastics myself, I also want to coach and judge the sport as well. I would not be able to do all these things while attending a regular public school. I would simply not have the time. The last year I did public school, I would wake up early for school, and then after school I would rush to the gym, and then after gym I would rush home at around 8.30. There was no time for art, piano, and I hardly ever saw my family. Because I didn't want to quit pursuing gymnastics, art, and music, we decided to try online school, and it worked out great. The reason I can do all these activities while attending online school isn't because I spend less time on my schoolwork. Nothing could be more false. Rather, it is because I have the flexibility to organize my time differently. For example, I usually do a lot of schoolwork on Wednesdays and Sundays because those are my days off from gym. I know on those days I have time to commit to other assignments and projects that are much bigger than the usual lessons. So I often schedule my tests for Thursdays and Mondays because I know I have more time to study the days before. It is really nice that I don't have to stay up late and cram for assignments and tests anymore. My little brother now does online school with me. He loves math and science and he helps me with those subjects when I don't get it. And I love to read and write and I sometimes help him with those. And my amazing mother makes sure we stay organized and that we try our hardest. The teachers and the online school are really great because they're always there when we need help. My math teacher, for example, Mr. Devaney, makes flip lessons on YouTube and has scheduled extra live lessons with me to help me understand the concepts of algebra. I'm so glad North Star Online School exists as an option for me and other kids like me. Here's a short clip of my gymnastics floor routine with me playing the piano in the background. weekend and in that competition I got second place all around. Thank you. Thank you, Sophia.